Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new episode of the Dusseldorf Manager Career Mode. And if you watched last episode, you'd know we are currently 13th in the Bundesliga, uh, meaning that right now we've got, not guaranteed, but uh, we are currently only, f I mean we could still drop down if we lose both our games. Uh, but we're, we're four points ahead of the of 16th and five ahead of 17th, meaning we only need probably one win this episode to guarantee survival. There's two games left this season. One up next, of course, against Union Berlin, but we're at home at the Dusseldorf Arena. So a very big game there. And I'm not sure about the second one. I don't know where that is, but... Uh, yeah, very big two games this episode, and it comes to an end as well this season, this episode. So that's quite nice. We'll be able to make some more signings for next season. But yeah, if you're new to this series, please do consider subscribing to join us on our road to 400 subscribers by the end of this year. That'd be greatly appreciated. And also to help us on our road to 350 subscribers by the end of this month, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. But without further ado, let's not waste too much time and let's get straight into the first match of this episode against Union Berlin at home at the Dusseldorf Arena. Let's do this. Hoffman. Poor. Poor. They're in. The two centre-halves mixing each other up and that's the first goal of the game. But it's not our way. It goes Union Berlin's way. 1-0 to the opposition i mean not the not what we wanted to start on really especially considering this is one of the biggest games of our season heading of course to the last two match days this being the 35th but this is just this is just awful really we've let adley get in behind and he's put it away unlucky from the keeper it's 1-0 union berlin Oh no, it's in. Bad keeping. He should have got his hand to that. Union Berlin with two now. This could be an absolutely terrible way to end this episode because they could actually see us into the relegation zone with that, that second goal. I can't lie. That time it is on the keeper. I mean, some poor defending again, but you can't let that shot go in. That's awful. Terrible goalkeeping there. It's now 2-0 to Union Berlin. We're just, we're just getting worse and worse by each minute. It's Apple Camp again just before half time. Sarkisian. He looks to get in behind. Does cut inside though. Will he get the ball into the box in time? He does, but no one gets onto it. Apple Camp blocks, and that is going to probably be the half time whistle. It is a terrible start. An awful start, really, to this first game of the episode. And a very big one as well. 2-0 down at half-time at home. It always seems we play a lot worse at home. I don't know why. We just play terrible. But when we're away, we actually play good. Now, could we turn this around with a couple of subs? I don't know. We're going to bring on Ginchek, though. He did impress me last game. Uh, Oberdorf coming on for Hoffman. We need a bit more pace. Sabotka for Tanaka. Tanaka's been poor. Kufre for Gavary. And I think Klaus for Ayoha. Those are going to be, I believe, the five changes we're making. One, two, three, four. Actually, no, four. Four changes we're making. So, hopefully, we can benefit from these subs and do something in the second half because it's been poor, honestly, and we definitely need to improve. Tony trying to take on Rusilon. He does get past him, but he's not no support, so there's, it doesn't really benefit us. But he does play it back. Apple Camp does get round him. That's got to be a pen. Surely it is. He's pushed him to the floor. Penalty to Fortuna. Can we slot it away here and get a goal back? I think you've got to give it. I think you've got to give it to Apple Camp if he's. Oh, he's, his penalties aren't great. We'll, we'll give it to Ginchek. Come on, Ginchek. He scored last game. Can he do it this game? Ginchek steps up and scores. One back for Fortuna. And it's the Polish forward again who slots a goal into the opposition's net. Fantastic finish and great play from Apple Camp to win the pen. It's one back for us. It's 2-1 now. Great ball. Bella Kotchap in pursuit of Adley. He's going to look again to trouble our box. He's put it in there. Forsby back to Adley. Forsby again. Slide tackle. See you later, mate. Here we go. Counter attack. Apple Camp rushing forward. Could this be the chance? No, we've given it away and that's surely all over. A terrible defeat for us. 
That's not what we need, especially closing into these last games of the season. Literally, this could be the deciding game. This could mean that we are closer to relegation than we could have been. And really, if we don't get at least a point next match, we could actually drop into 16th or 17th place. And that is not good for us. A very, very terrible performance out there, especially from some key players like Tanaka. Right, ladies and gents, as you can see, a very big game. As you can see by the points, this is ridiculous. A relegation fight, 16th place, of course. So we're not guaranteed relegation if we do lose this next game, but we don't want to really have to do playoffs because we could lose the playoffs and I don't want that to happen. It's 30 points for Botcham, 30 points Orsberg, 31 points us, and 31 points Bremen. Now, I don't know who Botcham and Orsberg have. I'll actually know it to say there. Orsberg have Union Berlin, who just beat us. And I don't know about Botcham of Bayern. Bayern, sorry. That is really good for us, actually. And who do Bremen have? Freiburg. So... I mean, if Freiburg win, it don't really do anything for them other than keep them in 11th. So, I don't know if they'll try that hard against Bremen. But that key game of Botchen, Bayern and, Ber and Union Berlin, Augsburg are very big games. Because it, it could mean that even if we do lose, that we don't go down. But Hoffenheim sits in front of us. Are they going to beat us? Are they going to let us win? I'm, not, I'm obviously not going to let us win, but are we going to beat them? This is a huge stage in our season. We came into this Dusseldorf job, rock bottom of the Bundesliga. They were hoping for a hero, hoping for a saviour, trying to get out of that relegation zone, and we've done it. We're 14th now. Can we stay in the Bundesliga and win against Hoffenheim today? Who knows, but we are definitely better away from home, and we are away from home here, but... Let's not waste too much time and let's find out, are we staying up or will we have to fight for our place in this Bundesliga? Let's find out. Let's do this. Wants to break into our defence. Hoffenheim still going on. Slides in and that's going to be a pen somehow. How on earth is that a pen? That is ridiculous. That's a terrible decision by the referee there. I thought he got all the ball, but now Hoffenheim have a chance to score. Barisha steps up and he scores. 1-0 Hoffenheim, and it looks like right now we could drop into that 16th place spot. Relegation playoff, not what we really want here. Terrible start to this game. Honestly, I hoped we would actually put up a fight, but this is just awful from our team. Yet again, we're conceding within a few minutes of the match. It's just woeful, really. Here we go. Tanaka in a bit of space here! Oh! What a hit from the Japanese CDM. He's just got us back into the game with an absolute stunner. Have a look at this. The Hoffenheim midfield and defence just step away from him. And he thinks, you know what? I'll have a go, mate. He'll hit it on his right. Bauman, no chances. It soars into that top left-hand corner. It's 1-1. The equaliser for Fortuna. Get in. A kick it away, but he's given a corner away. It's going to be touched down. Now clear it to Naka properly this time. He does. And that's going to be the end of the first half. The half-time whistle blown. And this is, you know what? It's not been a terrible start. We started off badly with a penalty given. I don't think that was a pen, but... We get back with a goal. Tanaka with an absolute stunner of a goal to equalise, to make it 1-1. And it's time for some substitutes here at half-time. Now, who are we going to bring on? That is the question. We've got Gil Bradson to take. I'm going to take him off. He's not been impressing me. I'm going to bring on Key this time. We give Ginchek a few games. We're going to give Key a go. Tanaka's impressed me. Sarkisian, not so much. Uh, Apple Camps has been around the place. So I'm just going to bring Tanaka up a bit. Bring on Sabotka. Oberdorf can go on for Hoffman. DeWidge, we're going to give a go actually for better Kotchap. And the final sub, Kufre for Gavry. Gavry again, not really impressing me. But. Actually, no, we need Zimmerman to go off. He's quite tired. So I'm going to think Kufre. Actually, he's got. Neither of them have got a good weak foot. It's just not ideal. But uh, we can put Gavri on the right, I guess. Kufre on the left. But yeah, these are going to be the changes for the second half. Hopefully, of course, we can carry on this bit more of momentum and we can get another goal because we need a goal. Um, 
But yeah, we'll have to find out, can we stay up? Can we win this game and guarantee our place in the Bundesliga next season? We'll have to find out. Let's do this. Good ball. Langoni on the run. Langoni in behind. Could he get a chance to shoot here? Oh, he does. 2-1. Fortuna. Dusseldorf. Langoni, the Argentine talented winger, has just got in behind fantastically there. Great ball, of course, by Applecamp. And then Langoni, bang! No chance for Bauman. Straight into that bottom far left corner. That is fantastic from the Argentine. It's 2-1. We're ahead now after being down by a goal. Fantastic football. And that is the goal we deserve in this second half. Bauman to the rescue again. Langoni now whips it in. Looking for key. It's free. It's the dream for Fortuna. I think with that goal now by Key, it's 3-1. And that could have just sealed our place in the Bundesliga next season. What a header. He's come off the bench and he's impressed me a lot here. Key gets his goal. It's 3-1 now to Fortuna Dusseldorf. Get in. Chance. Turn. Tanaka slides in. A very bad challenge now. Hoffenheim in. They scored. 3-2 in the 89th. There's still a chance for Hoffenheim to snatch two points off us here. Or potentially even three. But not so much the three points. I think there's only about two, three minutes left to play. But that's a great goal, to be fair, from the Hoffenheim man. It's 3-2 now. And with a few minutes remaining, we're going to have to probably pass this around a bit. So we know that we don't lose the ball here now. Gavary plays it forward. And Langoni, it's full time. That might have just done it. It depends on the other results around the stadium. But I think even if Bochum have won against Bayern, we're not 16th because we were on 31 and they were on 30. So that might have just sealed it for us. We could be in the Bundesliga next season. We'll have to look at the table. But an impressive substitute performance from Key there. Got us the win. Guaranteed us three points. Thank you, Key. What a performance. And let's have a look now to see are we in the Bundesliga next season. Ladies and gentlemen, after a very hard season, we were with Werder Bremen. We got sacked with about, I think, about 12 games to go. They didn't believe we could keep them up, uh, so they sacked us. However, they still finished 15th. We finished 13th ahead of our former club. Two points, in fact, ahead of our former club. And Bochum escaped the relegation playoff there. With that three points against Bayern, which is actually insane, I can't lie to you. Augsburg, though, lose to Union Berlin, meaning they drop into 16th place relegation playoff. But it means now we are staying in the Bundesliga. 13th place, Dusseldorf board's happy with us. The fans are happy with us, and I'm happy with the team. What a performance to save us from relegation. It looked like it was all over. It didn't look like we could make it out, but we did. And by quite the margin as well. A few places off relegation. We've done it. We've stayed up. But yeah, thank you all for watching this episode of the Fortuna Dusseldorf Manager Career Mode. I'll see you in the next episode and the next season with some new signings, of course. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.